Right, so <clears throat> today Pete Bogana won the national championships for Italy, in Italy, sorry, um, by about 30 seconds over Catania, and he's on his new bike, so this is the only photo I could actually find, it's really grainy, but I think what I want to do is just go over this position and compare it to some of the previous positions he's had, and also just the new bike and all the rest of it, and how that interacts with him. So anyway, the front wheel is sort of hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure this is a Princeton Carbon Works front wheel. Looks sort of slightly deeper than what we've seen before, but again, it's just a disc brake version, so I don't think anything too uh, controversial. Again, the same on the rear. Um, in terms of equipment, uh, it's sort of the, just the standard in your stuff. I think the thing that's more interesting is if we look at like um, the part here, you can see it's curved to try and uh, accommodate the wheel. Uh, with better aerodynamics. So if we look at this one, you can see there's not no no change here. It's like you know just completely straight. Um, and obviously we've got the brake section here, which I think is cleaner. It's harder to tell from without the front on shot. Uh, but again, you can see there's more of a sort of gain for aerodynamics. Again, I think the other thing to look at is the fork width. When this was made, there was the UCI rule, meaning that you couldn't have it like three to one ratio. So basically, if, if you had it really thick, it had to be really thin. Now it's now gone, so you can see it's it's a lot longer. Um, but and that obviously aids aerodynamics, keeps it more separated, uh, sorry, more attached, um, which is beneficial. In terms of the handlebars, I think that's the next place that I wanna look at. Uh, and something that you'll notice here is like, this bike is too small for him. It's the biggest one Pinarello make, but it is too small. Like, you know, he think how, look how high and long these have to be in order to get in the right position. Like, if he didn't have these custom extensions, he couldn't get the right position because it just wouldn't be long enough. And if we look here, it's definitely, seems to me like a bigger frame size. I'm not 100% sure because but, but, they're different angles, but if you look like, it definitely seems that this bar is not as long um, and not as far forward. Um, it also, if you look where his shoulders are as well, his shoulders here are sort of like well behind the fork, but there they look a little bit further forward, more over there. It's hard to tell, it could be a pretty similar frame size. I don't think it's a radical difference, but I think it's just a little bit. In terms of the positioning again, this is the world champs last year. You can see like his head is slightly further down, but realistically is a pretty similar position. Um, again, hands more tucked over, but again, it's quite hard to see. Uh, if we go towards the back of the bike, there's not too much a dif difference in, until we get to the seat stays. You can see here with the brake, the seat stay um, is higher up because obviously it has to accommodate the brake here the with it as it's disc brake. This can come down a lot and it looks a bit more like the Colnago bike. Um, which we've, we'll, we'll see Tale Pagaccio riding. Um, the saddle, you know, and the, the rail, this stuff looks pretty identical um, and not much has changed. Apart from that, it looks a pretty standard bike, nothing too exciting. Can't see the front end too much, I'm sure we'll see it more. But if we sort of go between all of his positions, you can see this was like at the Dauphiné, uh, which he did win the TT, and you can see the bike is, is obviously, the position is slightly different. Um, but obviously he's, he's hurting a bit and all the rest of it. Um, but if you think compared to this one, where he's also, you know, in, uh, going well today, it's a slightly different position, but I think it's pretty marginal. I think it's more like just the head position. I don't think any of the other things seem too different. Um, again, you can see some of the slight differences between the bikes. This was at the beginning of the season. Again, same bike, slightly different head angle, just because he's going around a corner. Um, still on GP5000 STRs which are believed to be the quickest, uh, well, basically the quickest tire Continental make now. They don't do a TT tire like uh, Vittoria do that's competitive. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts about the, the new Belide. Uh, I think it will be uh, probably ridden to victory in the first Tour de France stage and then probably released, um, I mean, to the public. Not like anyone buys TT bikes really, especially these ones, which will be like 15,000 pounds, but nonetheless. Um, it will be interesting to see all the details. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy this short little video uh, and I'll see you tomorrow.